there's no real like a mystery in the reason why like RP content, all of this stuff online is really blowing up and it's because of those same things you talked about and you know, speaking from personal experience, I definitely have had to learn this stuff some yeah. mostly the hard way, <laughs> yeah. to be being honest, because I grew up in that time, you grew up in that time, yeah. where we grew up in the, 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 the late eighties, early nineties and through the early two thousands was like romance was in. Yeah. It was it was R and B and B songs. R and B songs. It was it was one twelve. It was sending girls it was sweet Usher. tunes. It was like <laughs> What? <laughs> it was it was poetry time. It was yeah. poetry season. So which makes complete sense when you think about the time it it, it dropped all of that because it was in response to that super massive yeah. man run period of time in like the seventies and the eighties mm-hmm. and things like that. So you could see the reversal and I, I can see it in people in my own friendship group more reluctant to be a little bit more abrasive mm-hmm. with females and I think the reason why I was able to tap into this was because I have a very what's the, what's the way of saying this I have a very uh, like a small amount of patience mm-hmm. when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to bad behaviour yeah. in general yeah. so whether that's men and women yeah. Because I see it as a as a level of I put into self and I'm mm-hmm. willing to be this disciplined. Yeah. I won't have levels of disrespect from people yeah. who I know aren't yeah. disciplined, yeah. and they're not willing to le- yeah. last the length of time, 100%. actually finish things, and then they have a strong opinion. Yeah. So for me, it's like I earned the ability to actually mm-hmm. do this because I'm not out there doing a lot of the yeah. quote unquote bullshit that most yeah. people are. However, I have realised that. I grew up in that period of recognizing and thinking that women were to be more idolized, mm-hmm. so more romanticized yeah. of princess theories mm-hmm. and looking up to them and and you know whining, dining, wooing, mm-hmm. all of that mm-hmm. stuff was the time period that naturally grew up in, and then growing up around um, a lot of females in the family, mm-hmm. and as we know in the black community, a yeah. lot more mother-led yeah. households, yeah. maternal yeah. households, so. It was just natural overall that you yeah. know if it wasn't really for people like my dad and like you know my uncle or my yeah. mom's side seeing good examples of what men who went mm-hmm. to work yeah. look like yeah. not men that said what sounds good mm-hmm. yeah. yeah that's that's yeah. what i think the unique difference of why i was lucky and why i you know in general have just have a, a, a limited amount of patience mm-hmm. for poor behavior because yeah. yeah. i mean you know, I was able to be lucky enough to go to good schools i'm able to spot it yeah and i just can't play that yeah However, I wouldn't say I come across as like the quote-unquote alpha yeah. guy. I'm quite likable, respectable. Um, but that, but that, is, uh, that is alpha, that's what I'm saying. That's what people are getting twisted. Yeah, that's why I put the quotes, because I was like, thinking like, it, is it, it's hard, like you speak on it as pe- well. Pe- like, people, that's what I said, people have skew-whiffed their, their version of alpha. Like, mm. you have to understand there's a lot of conditions. So, yeah. remember back in the day, it was, oh, you can't be an alpha unless you eat steak. <laughs> that's how yeah. my tip was. Chat, yeah. shopping with. And you drink protein shakes. Yeah. That's an alpha. No. Right. Alpha, exactly. <laughs> alpha is a mindset, and yeah. the ultimate alpha. Mm. And like I said, I had an argument with my missus this morning, mm-hmm. and we've kind of really, really like gone past it because we read a lot, we watch mm. a lot together, so we kind of nice. can chop it up. Yeah, um, an ultimate alpha and a, a, a woman who's living in a feminine energy yeah. can get their message across mm-hmm. with love. Mm. So I should be able to speak to my partner in yeah. a certain way mm-hmm. that gets the message across. And this is the this is the male and female dynamic. Yeah, I like so that. You see where you're going, yeah. The mm-hmm. the male should be able to put a woman in her place mm-hmm. without shouting. Mm-hmm. Because when you get to the point of anger, mm-hmm. that's ego when it becomes uncontrolled and untamed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So naturally she's gonna defend herself. Yeah. But it's a defense mechanism, man. And the yeah. feminine, what the feminine needs to understand is, in mm-hmm. my opinion, mm-hmm. um, is she gets her point across with love, but men are a different uh, kettle of fish because we always want to feel like we've had the last say or we've made the decision. Mm-hmm. So women out there, yeah. when you want to make a decision, um, the way in which you do it to a man is you present the idea to him mm. in a way that makes him feel like he has the choice. Mm-hmm. So like you, a woman could say, mm-hmm. oh. Yeah. Um, suggestive. Suggestive, exactly. Yeah. So like a woman yeah. could be like, 
oh babe like do you remember when we went out for food that one time I'd love to go back to that restaurant <laughs> yeah. so as the man were like oh yeah, yeah most yeah, man yeah, is yeah, 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 like, like, right, oh, I'm going cool. to book that he might not do it but be suggested don't tell a man because a man will why react, you take why yeah, you take oh it, you yeah. don't do this oh my yeah. friend does this and yeah. when you start yeah. throwing in comparisons or yeah. oh you used to do this and that we naturally get our back up because mm-hmm. we see it as war mm. and men are we're, we're yeah, warriors we're ready for like, we're, we're, ready. Always we're, always ready. we're always ready yeah, yeah. so you should be able to do it with love mm. like, so I should be able to say to like my partner and this mm. is something that I I wrote once again I wrote in my book which mm-hmm. I will release eventually mm-hmm. um, stop doing the right and wrong thing so mm. stop saying oh you're wrong I'm right da, da, da. Yeah. the way I disperse a lot of arguments now is I say to my partner mid argument I'll be like is this healthy hmm. Hmm. because healthy means is it progressive yeah. or is it detrimental yeah. right or wrong is blame like oh you did everything basically yeah. I did nothing Yeah. pointing the fingers pointing the fingers yeah. whereas if I say is this healthy right now mm. it's basically like is this progressing us mm-hmm. like is, is it necessary yeah so then it will kind of diffuse it quickly mm-hmm and it stops the blame game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you can do everything with love because I ain't got to shout no more because mm-hmm. I'll just ask you a question. Mm-hmm. Or another one that I do mm-hmm. is because I I can argue um, very well, mm-hmm. but I don't like it. Yeah, I know what you mean. But if she's coming at me and I'm like, I don't really care, I'm just arguing because she's come at me and it threw me off and I'm getting my back up and yeah. she's arguing about me chucking my boxes next to the day when I could have put them in. Yeah, yes, I could have yeah, put them in. Yeah. yeah. Now we're having an argument, uh-huh. but in my mind, I'm like, I actually don't care about this argument. Mm. So what I'll do is I'll throw her a compliment. <laughs> but not in a sarcastic way, I'll be like, no, no, you're no. actually so beautiful. Yeah. And it throws her off, because how can you be mad when someone actually genuinely says like, like I love you, like, or da 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 da. That's what you mean, it's like, you're not necessarily, well, it's, it's, it's clever, isn't it? Because it's like, in a way, you're still, um, averting away from something that could be like you said not considered positive mm-hmm. but it's, you're not being like condescending or disrespectful mm-hmm. you're saying something you that's why it leads back to when you lead with love mm. it's it's hard to really ever fall out mm. of it mm. if you if everything you do is led with love like mm. at the forefront of it yeah. it's hard to ever fall out of love yeah. whereas people's relationships go downhill because say for example people say oh we only sleep together every two weeks. Mm. That's because his love um, that he had once had for you has now gone to porn. <laughs> yeah, or yeah. the love that he once had for you has gone to um, going to watch football Saturday, Sunday, Monday, da 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 da. Mm. So if you don't lead with love, you're mm. going to lose it eventually. So what you mean? So essentially, you're kind of saying that like a lot of stagnant relationships are kind of based in and around you not leading with that. Yeah, that love aspect yeah. that genuine care 100% and like stuff. some people yeah, just do yeah, yeah. just find themselves doing stuff for the sake of it mm-hmm. if that kind of dynamic isn't working mm-hmm. then you just shift it so you can find love from a different angle if mm-hmm. you get what I mean yeah. so like alright um, you ain't got the money to go on a date mm. alright you're gonna she's gonna go out with her girls and you're just gonna out mm-hmm. you might cook one night mm-hmm. you found a different dynamic for to, to show her love because mm. she wants to go to Nobu because it's the anniversary mm she don't realise that your bank account's on £15 yeah. like because yeah, yeah, you've paid yeah. all the bills paid and you've done your debts, yeah. duty as a man your your standard duties that's it yeah, yeah. but she wants to do something outside which is a bonus mm-hmm. because you can't afford it, you're like you know what I'm going to rustle up a meal mm. and if she's then still mad at that then you need to question her and question her morals mm. because you does not lead in with love yeah. yeah if anything it's it's more love than taking you out because mm. it's cooked with my hands and it's cooked with love and I hope you can taste it yeah yeah 1000% I mean it, it kind of makes me think of like something I saw online the other day it was like um, it's probably like a viral video that was going mm-hmm. and it was like a guy basically bought food for his kid yeah <laughs> I know what you know what I'm talking about isn't it? it's brilliant isn't it? it is brilliant because it, it, it just perfectly surmises yeah. the state of where we're at right yeah, now yeah, yeah, yeah. you know and I don't care what anyone says. Any any person, any female tries yeah. to argue like that, that woman was on the right. I mean, take a look at yourself, and yeah. because yeah. my man is responsible for his child, she's obviously got multiple kids with yeah. him, which is it is what it is. But he's obviously bought kid money, um, bought food for his kid. Yeah. Though not just her being frustrated, but the way the way she the, decided to go. The off. way she was speaking to him, I was like, "There's no respect a, there." One, you know that. A, good man I'm telling you because I'd have to like like I don't I try not to shout but I'd have yeah. to 
a G checker like, the fact in the, that, like, yeah, yo, and that's the G checker in the right way where he, he's mm. he's moving like the feminine, and like, but I can understand because the system is rigged to work in her favor. <laughs> so if if he says something that she don't like, even At if he says, times. just please shut up, just leave me alone, and she's yeah. like, I don't like that, mm-hmm. then he might not see his kid again. Facts. This is why it's so mad. One hundred percent. Like in that instance, yeah. mm-hmm. I would say, like, here you go. Yeah. Goes back to what I said two minutes ago. Mm-hmm. His base mm. is to provide for his kid yeah anything else is an extra so if he's in a position to or chooses, get, or chooses to, to grateful then you should be grateful but you can't expect it <laughs> women are expectant <laughs> so my thing so is true. like yeah. he did not do one single thing wrong mm-hmm. no and oh. what i was um i started teaching myself now is mm-hmm. i can't i struggle to get mad or question or speak bad at people because yeah. the thing that I always say to myself is you don't know what they're going through yeah yeah that might have been his last 399 yeah man. it's true it's and true. he's too um, embarrassed crazy. to tell you that that's all the money I got I haven't even eaten myself yeah, yeah, yeah you don't know what someone's going through yeah so don't question him or judge him based on his Before action because you even know exactly yeah, 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 be yeah. grateful that he's one come to see his kid because otherwise you say he's a deadbeat dad and then two, he's brought his kid food, mm-hmm. but then you'll still find a label for him when he ain't providing for a next man's kids. Yeah, that's crazy. It's crazy, and I don't know if anyone can be overload. So this is this is why, yeah. as I said, I think this this platforms in general are popping up online, and I, why RP in general is really blowing up is because you could you have you only get so far before you start you have to meet a stopping point yeah you have to stand up and yeah. say hey okay now like we need to defend our honor a little yeah. bit here because the cases are so extreme mm-hmm. too that they're not normalized cases where it's like justifiable things where you're like okay yeah. you know what maybe 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 he needs to take a look at that because like yeah. the way you're handling yourself isn't right and there needs to be accountability taken on the man side too which is why 100%. i think when you do the work it kind of it gives you the opportunity and the ability to voice mm-hmm. your opinion on these mm-hmm. things more yeah. because you're not out there mm-hmm. inherently doing a lot yeah. of that, that stuff that is negative you yeah. know? so like you said it's like men naturally we communicate overtly mm-hmm. you know? like, that's yeah. our way of things yeah. we think logic yeah. and then we speak logic yeah, yeah. naturally whereas I think what happens with females they hear logic internalise it emotionally mm-hmm. and it's a toss up if she decides is this going to be logical <laughs> or you're going to get the emotional yeah, that's, side. A good, that's a very good point that's a very good point you know what I mean like for me like I said there's there's base things that we expect from women and women expect from us mm. I think women's list is a lot longer yeah. I said to my partner yeah. um, I don't need to come home mm. and cook for the kids because that's mm. why I pay all the bills and I provide the room that's, that's your job like and a, a feminist watches me like her job oh, oh how long the feminists oh, are losing God, their minds no, no, you imagine? that's her yeah. job that's the reason that um, I wanted to have kids with her because I knew her maternal level mm. was exceptional mm. and I knew that because I saw it from her and mother so I knew how she was raised yeah there you go so she was raised to be maternal and had all the qualities of an amazing mother yeah now what I say to my partner and she's like that makes sense and my mm. missus got a very open mind I'm like I don't need to essentially do nothing but I'll pay the bills mm-hmm. and be dad when I when I can. Mm-hmm. You know I mean? However, I, I believe I'm a good person and I'm capable of more. Mm-hmm. So when I can mm-hmm. and when I choose to, mm-hmm. I will do more. Mm-hmm. So That's more often than not, when I wake up in the morning because I'm uh, um, up for her, I'll type the, uh, do the dishes. Mm-hmm. I'll empty the dishwasher, stack it, mm-hmm. wipe down the sides. Da, 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 da. Today I made her lunch. Mm-hmm because I like to make her feel good and lighten her load if I can see she's got a lot on yeah. I, it's, it's, it's a, it's it's a, a two way street yeah, yeah. it's a two and yeah. fro it's a yin it's and yang yeah. so if I can see you look stressed today mm-hmm. and I've not got nothing on mm-hmm. and I'm not doing I'm not working today mm-hmm. then why shouldn't I or couldn't I help you I can't then go and just sit on my phone and be like ha ha you struggle no that's not a good yeah, person yeah 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 exactly but I, think, I think that's what naturally the, the the frustration comes from the opposition yeah. they think that's what you think yeah, they, they yeah. think that you're like yeah cool that's your job that's what you're supposed to yeah. do I ain't doing that yeah. no I don't think it's anything to do that I think it goes back to what you said about the roles mm-hmm. let's just say for example that same female if with men held women to the same standard that they do when we don't necessarily um, help or 
be willing to do things on their side of the yeah. role, responsibility ladder, let's yeah. say. So on the female side, we know more of the nurturing aspects, mm -hmm. the, the aspects of things that come natural to them. Yeah, yeah. That for men, it's kind of like it's not quite there. Mm -hmm. But if we had the same level and standard and said, okay, cool, well, I've just been doing the, you know, the calculations mm. and, uh, you know, the last six months you've only put in 15% towards yeah. the fund of our yeah. living situation yeah. and really financially did that, women will say, let's do 50-50. But if it was to really be broken down and men logically sat down with a woman, mm -hmm. imagine, 29th yeah. of the month, yeah. all right, babe. So, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. Um, so you got uh, the electric, yeah. you're going to have to yeah. handle that one. You know, I've got this one, this one's 27.99, but yeah. you can figure out this. Yeah. They would lose their minds. They would lose their minds. They, they tell they you, you're not a real man. Did what is this guy? He sat down with me and really told me I have to pay $13. But, but, but then they want the quality. You can't pick and choose your quality. You either want a quality or you don't want equality. Precisely. And that, that leads us back to everyone has their roles. Everyone mm -hmm. has their strengths biologically and just socially, like yeah. economically, etc., etc. Yeah. And I, I, men, we're driven mm -hmm. purely by purpose. Absolutely. If you find your purpose. If you find it, yeah. But yeah. Some, if you don't find your actual purpose, you'll find it in something. Yeah. It's like yeah. some men, <laughs> yeah. myself, like that's that's really like powerful, I'm, yeah. I'm far from perfect. I've made a lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't if you don't know what your purpose is, you'll find it in something. So mm -hmm. men, we tend to find it in other women because mm -hmm. we're like it gives my ego a stroke. Mm -hmm. It makes me feel like um, I'm the, the big I am I'm and all this stuff. But then you tend to feel guilty after. You can mm -hmm. lose out more, etc., mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. But we're genuinely driven by purpose. Yeah. So like we're like yeah let's get our money mm. da, 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 da. Um, I want this car I want this I want that yeah. whereas women aren't driven by that no they're trying to force themselves to be driven by yeah, it yeah you can see it a like, lot of the times just to say I don't need a man I don't want to no mm. you do yeah you do we need a woman yep you need a man yeah because if you didn't have a man mm. you would be talk going around talking about men are trash men are this and that yeah. you said you didn't want one mm. Yeah, yeah, you're a thousand percent right, bro. I mean, it literally feeds right into our base level biological needs and desires. Mm -hmm. um, men are naturally, with testosterone and flowing through our veins, mm -hmm. are urged and moved to do things that they don't even necessarily know why yeah. they're doing. Like getting up and going to the gym when you don't really yeah. want to when you're still in pain. Yeah. Like, you know, getting up and working that extra shift yeah. when you're like, oh, why am I doing this mm -hmm. again? Like, you don't realize that, like, men in general, we're wired a certain way mm -hmm. that. If we go against those grains, I think what you create is a lot of confusion. Mm -hmm. So I think this is why you have a lot of men like in start stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They're like, should I go? Yeah. Nah, Mike. Nah. So it's constant back and forth. And mm -hmm. I think with round and sort of two rounds like relationships, why it's harder is because you men and I like divided. Yeah. Before I think you had a community of men that That's kind of it. had a similar value system. Mm -hmm. Now. Um, you could sit in a room with one guy who's super traditional, conservative, mm -hmm. old-fashioned views, and then sit with another guy who absolutely hates that mm -hmm. and wants to live in a new way of like, yeah. you know, uh, what's the best about the term for it? It's um, metropolitan yeah. and essentially being a bit more yeah. feminine. Mm -hmm. But overall, the market itself has become that way. So mm -hmm. even these conversations here, there's risk in that. Yeah. Like, how scary is that? We live in a world where there's risk in conversation of talking my about. It frazzles my brain. You know, um, I mean, I do understand. Like, I don't want to sit and say that like, it's irrational as to why women are having any type of issue mm -hmm. when it comes to men. Because yeah. there is elements of mm -hmm. quote unquote toxic masculinity. Yeah, 100%. However, it's being used mm -hmm. a little bit too strong as yeah. like, a, like a beating stick in different environments and rooms. It's like, you can't be a strong man or be too loud in this Listen, room. Everything you know? nowadays is either toxic masculinity or you're a narcissist. Yeah, yeah. It's literally like yeah. they're throwaway words nowadays. Mm -hmm. Most people don't even know the definition of a narcissist. Mm -hmm. And everything you do is toxic. So mm -hmm. especially when, when like, this, like I said, single women create single women. Mm -hmm. When they're around their girls and they're like, what? He shouted at you. Mm -hmm. What? He, he got in your face. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Like, I he knew, could, he could I knew he was a woman beater. No, yeah, he didn't put his hands on me. Yeah. yeah, but if he got in your face, he's capable of. Like, yeah, people, yeah. Women just want to run with stuff. Like, yeah, they want to jump to the conclusion. Like, yeah. the, the things that we call um, toxic masculinity mm -hmm. are. Traits the, that our grandparents have? Exactly, and the makeups of a relationship. 
you work through those things and you grow and you learn mm. not to be so mm. argumentative what triggers her mm. what doesn't because like I said when you when, go back to the beginning of the conversation dating is a is a interview mm. it's a business process you don't go oh what I really dislike is uh, when people chew loudly mm. or if you crunch ice or mm. da 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 mm. but then the first time you do it she's like can you not do that please yeah. and you're like I'm yeah. chewing my ice and then it becomes an argument yeah but you don't tell people that from the get go so mm. these are things that you work at and you learn your person mm -hmm. you don't ju you don't just fall in love you learn that person yeah and learn what makes them tick what makes them falter and all of these things but Absolutely, yeah. because of social media it's, everyone's easily dispensable so you're like oh we had one argument and he said um he's going on holiday with the boys and I didn't want him to so, so that, I left him that. yeah done with that yeah yeah that, yeah, 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 that yeah, easy yeah. uh huh that easy but our grandparents were going through a madness yeah like so, yeah so and then and then they had the real like threat of the world around them yeah, like, yeah. we didn't have this stable environment no. we have today no. there was much more fear of just nature around you when we was coming up so yeah i mean like essentially if we was to judge everything how you know feminism reacts mm -hmm. to how men are today all of our grandparents all of our granddads mm -hmm. specifically they're toxic males yeah, yeah. Because no, 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 they're, they're, no, it's further than that. They're not. To it's not toxic masculinity. Mm. It's they're, they're abusers. Mm. That's they're actually right. abusers because yeah. you'd like literally get like our grandparents maybe have an argument mm. and the grandfather would, like grab our arm and be like, look, let's not do this right now. Da -da -da -da, or like say whatever. Mm. Oh, my, nowadays it'd be like, oh my god, go mm. to the police. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, and obviously yeah. there are circumstances where men are abusive. Yeah. But I'm saying all of our grandparents like you said mm. would be literally abusers yeah. because they were labelled abusers yeah, they'd, they'd, they'd cuss yep. they'd the women would feel. dash stuff yeah. but that's what love looks like yeah. that's actually what love looks like yeah. love looks um, imperfect mm. do you know what I mean like yeah. I, I say to people women will give you women and men mm -hmm. more so women we don't really have a list women will give you a list of what love looks like to them mm. yeah mm -hmm. but then there will never be anything bad on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, love looks like um, we we cuddle every night and we we cook meals together and we do this and that. Mm -hmm. No, love looks like arguments and learning, and uh, it's no different to the gym. It's no different mm -hmm. to every walk of life. You break yourself down so you can grow back better. Mm -hmm. So when you're in the gym, yeah. the version of the argument is um, you're trying to push the bar and you're trembling, yeah. and you're like oh my god like it's breaking down like mm. I'm, I'm breaking down yeah you finish it mm -hmm. and you're like that was yeah. difficult mm -hmm. but then knowing that tomorrow the investment that you made to stay stick with it mm -hmm. you're back better yeah that's love yeah. like love hey. is like learning mm -hmm. that struggle is part of the package yeah yeah it's like people don't want any struggle any struggle at all no, they like, don't want to have to go through any type of bad stuff I don't want us to have to argue ever the, moment, the first time we have an argument or anything serious it's like one side you've got the females they're encouraged to be this way because they've got an abundance of options yeah. they've got guys throwing themselves at them but I think what the real important part of this is the, um, unfortunately women are looking at the dating market today mm -hmm. as um, those abundance of options mm -hmm they're looking at it like they are true relationship candidates yeah. and I think what a lot of modern women do now which is they conflate relationship attention with just sexual attention a hump because as we know sex sounds that point so was like uh, if I had DJ sounds I'd do it yeah yeah, yeah. No, no, honestly, yeah literally because <laughs> what women yeah. need to understand is we're visual and w even though we might pay you attention mm -hmm we've already more time mm. um, assessed and given a verdict of what kind of uh, person you are to us. If you're for fun, if you're a potential wifey, if you're just a link, mm -hmm. like we yeah. notice that like, say That's straight away instant. almost. Yeah, instant. almost instant like, most men. And that, yeah. Sorry to say it, but mm -hmm. if you like, and it's bad, but I, I, I know it because I have the conversation with guys, mm -hmm. if you've got lip fillers mm -hmm. and a tattoo on your leg mm -hmm. or sleeve and da 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 we think you're for fun yeah you think you're for the, for the streets yeah literally like the, and that's how it is because it's, it's a visual thing like because you said because we're visual we're visual that doesn't, so, and, and that doesn't we, mean that you are we in our mind we think you've changed how you look visually mm -hmm. to impress us mm -hmm. 
So that means like you really want it, like you're really craving attention. Yeah. Like which in a way you could argue they kind of are. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. It's like you know if it walks like a duck. Yeah, yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, or even the Dave Chappelle, where it's just like I'm dressed in a yeah, yeah, uniform. Yeah. <laughs> you can't. Yeah. He's like, hey, just because I'm dressed this way. <laughs> well, so yeah, it's one of those vibes, isn't it? And yeah, you're right, bro. It's like we're we're in this time where like because sex sells so well now, and mm-hmm. because the world is visual, mm-hmm. social media, online mm-hmm. dating, sorry, um, just apps in general, it's fallen right into the hands of what yeah. females want yeah. but unfortunately it doesn't give them the results they're really looking for mm-hmm. that's where the frustration and the resentment and the anger and the toxic arguments mm-hmm. begin online because Absolutely. you've got men that are well great example I just said earlier you know I come up in that era of being more romantic mm-hmm. so I know from previous experiences I have to look back take accountability and say yeah, yeah I was probably being a lot more softer yeah. and more coming across more feminine yeah. in my approach to get women yeah. because that's what I assumed was what the market mm-hmm. desired. Yeah. Now that things have shifted, it now fits more of who I actually am yeah. and it <laughs> makes more sense now to me. <laughs> this is why I, I you know, I enjoy obviously a lot of the RP content because it, it, ma- it matches logical thinking, rational yes. thinking yes. with how the world actually is. Yeah. And the, envi- the relationships that you tend to see work quite well yeah. are when, like you just said, the two individuals are in their similar role. They're in that. They're in their role where the the woman understands her, what she brings to the table, mm-hmm. the nurturing, the ability to provide a family, mm-hmm. and then the man understands the security for said family. Yep. And then you marry. Things will blur in between. Hundred percent. But it's the understanding at our yeah. foundation. This is yeah. who we are. And yeah. I think if that is skewed, which is kind of what feminism and what women are doing yeah. today, they're saying we want men to lessen their mm-hmm. desire to be men. Yeah. You know, it's so like I'm very. I, I know this. Like I'm very fortunate because my partner. If I want free cooked meals a day, mm. I get free cooked meals a day. Mm. She still finds time to go to the gym, look after herself. Mm. Da, 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 da. But that for me is submissive. Mm. Not because I told her to do it, but when you say the word submissive, that becomes a trigger word to women nowadays. Yeah, yeah it's just like and, I don't even and use it. Submissive to women. Mad. That submissive to women mm. in their mind is. You say you say jump and I say how high, mm. but it's not that. Someone asked me the question about two weeks ago. Yeah. What does submissive mean to you? Mm. And it wasn't what they expected. So I said submissive to me mm-hmm. is um, when a woman allows me to lead, mm. um, knowing that I might make mistakes, mm-hmm. but allows me to put myself first by put my by put myself um, last. If you know what I mean. Okay. Yeah. That's it. No. Yeah. Well, it's almost like you put yourself in like that yeah. leadership position, even but though basically no. Put myself last by putting myself first. Yeah. Okay. So okay. I'm going to take all the risks and I'm going to make decisions on behalf of our household. Mm. Yeah. And you're going to let me do them. Mm-hmm. That's submissive as long as it's in the best interest of the family. So you might in your head be like, why is he um, drawn out our our savings mm. and um, gone up north? Mm-hmm. I might be buying a house, mm. but let me make those decisions mm-hmm. that are in the best interest of the household then you're being submissive yeah. then if I make a mistake mm. as the woman you come to me and with love mm. you explain why you didn't think that was a good idea or yeah. um, what you think we should do better that's submissive mm-hmm. submissive isn't oh um, rub my feet yeah. no no you can't yeah. say no rub my feet no yeah. that's abuse yeah. that's abuse and control that's a, and that's yeah, controlling and addictive and yeah. like, wow. submissive to me is uh, submissive in my opinion is mm. allowing the man to make decisions and trusting him mm-hmm. to make decisions mm. that are in the best interest of the household and when he makes a mistake um, leading him with love mm. down another alleyway mm. and making him feel like he didn't fail yeah. that he's learned from it so don't be like oh you effed up da, da, da. no babe like we'll be good next time it will be better mm-hmm. like men we like to feel mm-hmm. like we like our women to make us feel like we're the only one in the world and we can't do no bad. And if you do that, you'll get so much more love. If you mm. big us up, because we, men, we love words of affirmation. Oh, yeah, thanks. Like, we yeah. love it when women big us up, like, yeah, oh, yeah, um, no, it's very oh, true. baby, you look really good. Which is why it's easier to finesse men. Exactly. 
Yeah, because, because, because men don't typically get, like, think about it, if we're, if we're at war, yeah. day in, day out, mm -hmm. slaying the dragon, yeah. looking out to try and bring yeah. the bacon back, yeah. and then we got to come back and be in argumentative mode all mm -hmm. of the time with a woman that we love and care for. Yeah. It's like, you're chatting to one of the men then. Yeah. It's just like, I could argue with the man then. Yeah. Like, <laughs> at, at, do you know what I mean? At barbershop yeah. or whatever. So it's like, we don't, first, one thing is that we don't want ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's one thing I think we need to get. And I think also, it's a case of like, women naturally, like, the reason why I find it hard to, um, <laughs> so, I mean, this may sound a little controversial as well, the reason why I find it dif difficult to listen to uh, women in charge or women mm -hmm. that essentially lead, is because naturally, I recognize that a woman who has good leadership traits had to have learned that naturally. Mm -hmm. from the leadership of a man yeah and i know that may sound yeah, no, no, so spot. unbelievably <laughs> no, sexist it's so so. Spot. and it's you know it's one of those ones where it's just like oh i'm probably getting counseled for that one. <laughs> um but i just the reason why i say that is because you can just ask her yeah ask most women who yeah. are great in leadership yeah where they typically have found them and got a lot of that knowledge from so that's one element but more importantly um essentially when it comes to females in themselves when it comes to their opinions. The reason why I find it hard overall is because they will make rules for certain individuals and then they'll break them for others. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, I don't yeah. think men typically tend to do that. No. Like, even if we don't like somebody's opinion, you tend to find they'll be like, oh, yeah, I don't really like him, but uh, you know, he does make a lot of sense. Yeah. But he's a bit of a, yeah. a, bit of a prick or a bit of a dickhead. Yeah, yeah. But I think on the other side, it's like a female will listen to a man that she thinks is good looking, mm -hmm. has money, has status, mm -hmm. has all of these things, and sit and be, yeah, you know, yeah, uh -huh, yeah, yeah, and I've seen, and you'll see that same female with a guy who doesn't think those yeah. things of. It's that, it's that it's, whole, it's it's that whole quote of, um, men are visual, that's why women wear makeup. <laughs> it's true, <laughs> and, it's and, and women yeah. um, fall in love with what they hear, that's why men lie. Yeah, when, when, when <laughs> um, the quote is, uh, when men lie, women buy. Yeah. Essentially, that's essentially the quote, and it, you know, eighty percent of the consumer base, it, you know, that that's statistical. So I think the yeah. biggest market in the world is makeup. Sense. Yeah, yeah. Even for all of the wars, yeah. all of the famine, makeup, all of the issues, it's like because it makes it makes sense when you think about survival. Yeah. Like for men, we our survival is self. Yeah. We if we're not ready and armed and prepared for battle. Mm -hmm. you, you you just have to put up with the consequences yeah, yeah, when yeah. war kicks off, innit? Um, Whereas I think on the female side, they know when it does all kick off, if that was to happen, mm -hmm. <laughs> my best attributes yeah. is how I look. How because I look, yeah. the alpha, strong, yeah. masculine men are going to say, you, yeah, come yeah. here, you, come yeah. here, you. And they'll be like, oh. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> so it's funny. Really. Having this conversation, just like, no matter what angle you go at it at, mm -hmm. and whatever your beliefs are, and mm -hmm. how you think women are in the 21st century, and all this stuff, mm -hmm you always get back to the same spot and same location. You can't ever escape it. Like, yeah. It is what it is. And that's why people are doing so well off of this type of content. Mm. But women need to digest it. Women, I, I saw yeah. someone yeah. did a post it yesterday. Mm -hmm. and I went on the comments and everyone was like, oh, these same conversations about yeah, they should miss yeah. me with it. And this and that. I'm like, it's they've already just begun. You need that then. Yeah, facts, facts. Like they, they say, always a student never a teacher mm. you don't want to be a student because it means you have to take accountability and That's look right. at yourself yep. and you're not ready to do that because you haven't grown enough facts and you're busy out here turning up in the club yeah like you want a guy with diamonds on his wrist mm. da -da 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 -da. yeah mm -hmm. and that ain't a man nah facts i mean it's <laughs> that's a gimmick yeah it's a it's a it's a fairy tale it's a disney fairy tale. Disney um, fairy tale. but okay so last talking point that I really wanted to get your opinion on and I think this is a really good one which is promiscuity mm -hmm. in well, via being a professional athlete so mm -hmm. you know being a promiscuous man mm -hmm. but told from, obviously from the perspective of somebody who's seen what yep. it's like behind the scenes an athlete I mean I've got a little taste of that the audience obviously mm -hmm. know I played football growing yep. up um, but I didn't sign by pro deal mm -hmm. so it's almost like I saw all of the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the bits you need to see yeah. without actually getting access yeah, yeah, to the yeah, benefits yeah. Yeah. so it's uh, such a unique yeah. thing where I'm like, yeah. I connected to all these footballers and a lot of my yeah. guys are you know ballers and things like that but from your perspective you know because right before this conversation this is what's funny 
girl that I, you know, I won't name no names, obviously, but <laughs> she was, was chatting to me and said, um, you know, what are you going to obviously conversate about today? Yeah. And like, they don't know that obviously what the styling of the yeah. converse has changed and shifted. So I was kind of like a little bit just cool about it. I didn't want to give away what exactly the chat was. But the moment I said, oh, yes, my guy is my guy that I've known for, you know, quite a long time. He's a, you know, a professional footballer. And, you know, I'm just going to talk about, you know, dating and relationships, all different stuff. And she's just like, yeah, you should, because, you know, yeah, talk about footballers because they cheat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, the way she's like, boom. And I was just like, oh, okay. Um, it kind of made me think about a lot of the, you know, the content I watch now in general, from the Kevin Samuels to mm-hmm. the Donovan Sharps mm-hmm. to, um, you know, uh, Rollo Tomasi yeah. and all of the RP creators it just brought into my head and the the very clear separation that we have today mm-hmm. with value yeah. and I think what's happened is because everything's been thrown into one big pot online we're all in this one big social mm-hmm. media bubble mm-hmm. where everyone's looking for clout and status and mm-hmm. who knows who but when you strip all of that away like you said it's going to be your accomplishments. It's going to be the time invested. Mm-hmm. It's going to be the things you've actually acquired that yeah. separates us. So, what's your just general opinion and viewpoints on like just promiscuity from the male perspective? Because my thoughts on it are, I kind of side with a lot of the RP creators when mm-hmm. they talk about if you have busted your ass for X amount of years, ten mm-hmm. plus whatever amount of years. Mm-hmm. I mean thinking about myself personally I started this when I was a young age mm-hmm. six seven years old when I say disciplined so I look at it like I sacrificed my childhood mm-hmm. you know I, my friends were going out having yeah. fun I went interested mm-hmm. and I was fully solely focused on yeah. that so I think that, that investment into that it sets a certain precedence of who mm-hmm. you are you just become more professional yeah. you become more focused and driven and I look at it like how um, somebody like a Chris Brown mm-hmm. um, a Denzel Washington mm-hmm. a big name person you could think of mm-hmm. if they've gotten to a point where let's say the average person on the street could never mm-hmm. ask for even a fraction of the things that mm-hmm. they get why it's such a big problem mm-hmm. if they exercise options mm-hmm. in their yep. choice of partners because yep. on the other side as we know mm-hmm. if, if you don't meet one of these quota- these mm-hmm. quotas one of these yep. tick boxes yes. for a female next mm-hmm. because they've got that abundance of options so mm-hmm. I look at it like why is it wrong that a man uh, yep. has built up himself does have those qualities and that success isn't able to choose mm-hmm. partners yeah. When, yeah. He, when and if so he chooses mm-hmm. so you know what's your overall thoughts on that bro so <laughs> let's start yeah I know it's one of those ones. It's, it sounds very blase but it's not for everyone. Yeah. So I, when I say that, I mean there's normal everyday men that cheat. There's rich people that cheat. Da, 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 da. Mm. But like I said, an average man is easily disposable because mm. women will always have options. Mm. Do you know what I mean they can yeah. do their makeup, go on a night out, they'll find another average man. Mm. Um, why, quote unquote, high value men or um, men that have achieved more? In their, in their life mm-hmm. can get away with it and do get away with it is because they're not easily disposable and you can't get another one or you, you will struggle to get another one so mm-hmm. they've almost earned that right mm-hmm. to be put on a pedestal mm-hmm. because yeah. whether it's how much they earn their job their their phone book their connections mm-hmm. they are at the upper echelon of men mm-hmm. and once you're in the 1% which doesn't take a lot. There's a there's a there's a very um, vast um, difference between within that one percent, mm-hmm. but it doesn't take a lot to be in that one percent. Mm-hmm. If you earn hundred and fifty grand a year, mm-hmm. you're in the one percent basically globally. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. But then obviously, hundred and fifty grand is nothing to someone who earns one hundred and fifty million a year. <laughs> but you're still in that in that same bracket. Yeah, yeah. A- AKA, it's like you're, so. Basically, what you're saying is the the average to yeah. You know, um, decent amount of money yeah. is a small category yeah. but that let's say you make 150 grand which yeah. compare that to 150 mil yeah. is ridiculous yeah. and those guys all in between that yeah range. but th- those guys even though the uh, the wealth mm-hmm. is crazy different mm-hmm. they're still the same because yeah. they're in the top 1% yeah, the, yeah they're in a small there's, a, there's a 149 million pound 
different yeah but they're still in the one percent yeah they're so, still connected and in that one yeah, percent yeah. there's a very very um small amount of men mm. very small yeah whereas in that other 99 percent it's the most it's, it's, it's most men it's everyone else it's most yeah, men. Yeah, yeah yeah so when you put yourself in that upper echelon mm -hmm. you're always going to have options mm. And even if you don't want options, mm -hmm. options are going to present themselves to you. Exactly. Whether it's women mm -hmm. or opportunity. Yeah. If you earn 150 grand a year and you um, work for Apple, yeah. people will be like, oh, you work for Apple. Let's link up. Let's get a meeting together and opportunities will come. That's why rich people tend to pay for less because they yeah. have more worth. Like yeah. if they their see- Their network is their money. Exactly. Yeah. AJ don't need a free range, yeah. but will get a free range because if they see a AJ driving a range, mm -hmm. more people are going to want a range. That's true. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if it's it, kind of like when Jeremy Clarkson did the, um, back in the day when he, I remember this and this came out, he would speak about certain vehicles and they would like write to him and say, Hey, could you not say this about our vehicle? Yeah. Because it's going to jeopardize yeah. our sales. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Literally people would like discontinue cars because of things he said. So he when, right when you're in that upper like part of society, you're always going to be presented with opportunities. Yeah. And uh, women will always gravitate towards you mm. because when you walk in a room, mm. your reputation precedes you mm -hmm. and it's the animal kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> um, women want to be associated with that. Whether mm. it's for one night, for mm. one year, mm. for whatever. They want to say, I've delved into that or I've had a piece of that. Yeah. That's how it works. Mm -hmm. um, so I think, and people turn around and be like, Oh, but you don't have to take the opportunity. Mm -hmm. but, which is true. Which is 100% true. 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 But one, um, it's not easy mm -hmm. because men, we are animalistic. Like, yeah. like how yeah, we look true. at having sex and how no, women look at the sex is different. It's a big difference. It's a yeah. big difference. It's like, I don't think they would ever rationalize or be able to rationalize no. the difference. But they'll try and tell you, oh, we're the same. Yeah. Like, we feel the same. No, you don't. Yeah, you just no. don't. Like, yeah. we're, we're men, you're women. Like, it's, yeah, it's completely different. Things, um, yeah. So, I don't believe, mm. um, my partner knows this, we have discussion all the time, mm. I don't believe um, men are naturally polygamous. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. Because, um, I mean, whether it's... Whether it's um, by monogamous. Monogamous, sorry, yeah, I know so, what you mean. Yeah. They're not naturally... They're probably naturally more polygamous. Yes, is what, what you're kind 100%. Of saying. It makes sense when you think about... Because um, I had one of... Uh, who was it? Was it Donovan? Someone said it recently. They were saying that um, even a guy that is comfortable or happy in his long-term mm -hmm. relationship the percentages would typically say that even that man whether he's watching porn yeah. whether he's watching other things online or even just like browsing through Instagram and double tapping on, on mm -hmm. photographs yeah. like men's urges when it comes to sexual desire is so so different men's uh, so different. men's urges are ever present yeah all that happens is the ones that stay faithful, which mm. I believe are very few, mm. I'd say seven out of 10 men, mm. you, if mm. not more. Yeah. Um, the men that are faithful mm. um, tend to go down the route of uh, finding more escapism, yeah. whether it's through porn, through alcohol, mm. through playing golf with their guys and spending less time with their missus. Mm. So they might stay together for the whole of their life, mm. but your How relationship actually isn't anything to be envied because you don't really see each other yeah. in the evenings you sit and watch a movie but don't speak to each other yeah yeah um, sit at a long dinner table sit at a long dinner table and you yeah. just eat in silence like mm -hmm. there's nothing fruitful there but yeah. what you'll find is and it's a weird thing that i can't explain is yeah. when a man steps out he tends to love but tends to love better when he comes back mm. That's so like because yeah. that guilt is there because it's like that flipping okay. whole song that's just come out that women talk about that TSBN one where mm. if I cheat it don't mean I love you any, like, I don't, don't mean I don't love you and we can we can sleep with a girl mm. and it just be I was horny yeah. that was yeah. it <laughs> like I would never look at her again women Absolutely. can't Man. do that yeah, um, <laughs> but going back to it so when you're true. presented with options yeah. and they're options that if you wasn't maybe in that upper echelon um weren't accessible to you mm. you almost feel like why do I have to say no yeah yeah that's what you mean it's kind of like because you're with you're in an environment where you look on one side and you see the females exercising options yeah. wherever they want whenever they want you can't say nothing yeah. but if a guy who built himself up 
mm-hmm. who we could argue is a lot more difficult yeah. as we know the 100%. differences between 100%. creating value and yeah. having 100%. value 100%. so if you build yourself up to that point like you just said why does that man feel why should he feel uncomfortable mm-hmm. the fact that he's not only just attracting those options but wants them yeah. and it's like you feel like you're being told I know the option's there and it's available and you've yeah. worked for it and it's there it's a byproduct yeah. of yeah. your work yeah, your 100%. hard work 100%. so you don't want it yeah. <laughs> it's like well I do but I just think that if I do want that the females that are oh, okay. but then, you're more worried about the, but then, the, it, it, the thought let me say I'm going to say this but I haven't even thought about it mm. if a woman mm-hmm. built herself up to that same 1% mm-hmm. men aren't moving the same as women would be do you get just, what I mean I know exactly so like, so like if a woman was that. like adding yeah. 150 grand 200 grand a million yeah. men aren't flocking like that no. because we want something that's rare so we're going to either catch you on your ones mm-hmm. as you're walking out mm-hmm. da, 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 whatever it is we're not going to be like oh hi da, da, moving all feminine we're not going to move you that we're going to try to yeah. catch a glimpse of your eye yeah. and then we're going to wait to see if you reciprocate mm-hmm. then we might make our approach yep that's so true I mean it basically goes to the point of saying that uh, more masculine minded females yeah even they want masculine men yeah so <laughs> it's not like yeah. the f- they want feminine men no. they may say that we've yeah. heard women say that I would happily have a man at home who does yeah. all of the stuff I should be doing yeah. or you know is naturally feasible for mm-hmm. me to do and then say I want him to be the you know the effeminate yeah. man, man at home <laughs> who does all of that stuff and then she don't really want that yeah. nine times out of ten because he doesn't inhibit those traits and all it takes is to be around one man who does mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but it's, it's it. a classic thing of like usually in films when you get a woman that like she's a lawyer mm-hmm. or something like that and she's got a man that's kind of just a mm-hmm. normal guy and mm-hmm. da, 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 she cheats with the got the pool boy because he's masculine because <laughs> he's got big muscles yeah because he's got big muscles yeah, so like yeah he's got no money as i say he's high, cleaning your pool even like, high, yeah, <laughs> high value women yeah. still want a masculine man yeah exactly they might, even they if might. they've got a man that has the money exactly so that's the so point. even if yeah. like yeah they uh, the woman earns a lot of money and mm-hmm. she's got a good guy and da-da. Mm. like we said women are high purpose yeah so then they're gonna want that masculine man that oh mm. my husband's really kind and we make love mm. she wants a man to chuck her around she or wants a man to rough her up it. and make her feel like oh my god I feel vulnerable or she's thinking about it like, exactly because so, it's like that element of knowing he he has the ability to be physical with yes, me, yes. but chooses to never exert his full sense of it, exactly. like women like you know I mean? you, it's becoming more um, out there now mm. women love that kind of stuff where like a man's physical with them but like you said not physical to the point where I'm it's hurting you but hurting me like now. where um, yeah. oh like you're actually putting me in my place and I'm trying to fight it like or I'm trying to fight you but you can still put me in my place like women love that stuff it's that is synonymous with the relationship yeah like okay I'm going to speak out sometimes and say some reckless stuff but oh you're going to put me in my place and you're going to make me jump and be like Okay, like, da, 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 like, so it reminds you that you're not you with like, another woman exactly. as well. That's another. That was another primary <laughs> factor. Like, since evolving to where we are today, you can see how we've gone from being primitive mm-hmm. to civilized. Mm-hmm. And I think that is literally just <laughs> it's flip flopped what men are or what they're asked to be. Yeah. When we was in primitive hunter gatherer times, could you imagine a woman mm-hmm. telling a man to be at home and take care of the kids? Impossible. Impossible. It, it doesn't even make sense. Like, she would laugh in your face if you <laughs> said, "I'm going to stay at home. You go out yeah, and get the food yeah, today. Yeah. Like I'm going to cook the." No. What? No. She's finding a new husband tomorrow. Hundred percent. It's the, done. No, all the men in that area are putting him through some yeah. trial and test or yeah. like, fighting him or something. Yeah, exactly. They're scrapping him. They're, 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 yeah, <laughs> they're just like what he said. What? <laughs> I, I challenge him to a yeah, duel. Yeah, there's something wrong with him. That's yeah. what I say. They send you to the witch doctor. Yeah, right? straight like, up, bro. Hey, he needs a potion or something. <laughs> he's a potion. <laughs> yeah, he needs a tincture because he's saying he's staying at home cooking and sh- that he wants her to go and kill the boar. <laughs> <laughs> with the man then? Yeah. He's like, sending her out with all the man. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. No, but yeah. Like, I think what it is as well, because when you use that argument, see, I don't like to get lost in that argument because what it is, it's, a, it's an easy win because mm-hmm. women can say, oh, we're not in Hunt the Gatherer days. Times have changed. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Let's, let's say times have changed. Mm-hmm. So then why is it that these masculine, more uh, hyper-masculine females who are getting money, 
independent, mm-hmm. do all this stuff, mm-hmm. still require a man, and they say things like, I just need him to be more masculine than me. Mm-hmm. Like that has <laughs> got to be the most infuriating mm-hmm. statement I think I've heard out of all of the RP stuff, because mm-hmm. most of it you can understand where it comes from. But like when that, that that's ultimate delusion. Mm-hmm. Like literally opposites are attracting when yep. it comes to men and women. Yep. You want the more masculine men, mm-hmm. typically you see, yep. The big fights, the hyper masculine yep. ones, they typically with women who are happy yep. to be the ultra feminine woman. Naturally. Exactly. Think about it. Naturally. The, probably the prime example of that is when you get bodybuilding, you get with a cheerleader or the jock and the cheerleader. That's what? kind of the right dynamic. I mean, this might be even a little bit of a sideline one, like Conor McGregor. Yeah. Perfect <laughs> yeah. example. Yeah. Like literally from coming up, you know why as well? Because he didn't come from a silver spoon. Mm-hmm. So he really had to fight yeah. physically, emotionally, yeah. all of that to even get any notoriety. Yeah. And his partner, who he's now married to, yeah. as um, I think a second child now, I believe. Well, they've got three or four. Three or four now, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So I've been tapping in for a little while, but <laughs> yeah, man's been away <laughs> procreating. Shout out to yeah. Connor. Um, but yeah, now you can see like the story he talks about when he found mm-hmm. her. That's where that real love comes. That's an undying yeah. love. Yeah. That one of them has to die before they separate. Yeah. That's yeah. the difference. Yeah. As opposed to, oh, I just want to get married to this guy because he has money. Yeah. And status. Or that's, she, that's, he wants to get married to that, her. That, that's the whatever. story that women want to um, pretend that they live. You know, when you talk yeah. about ride or dies yeah. and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. No, you're not ride or die. Mm. Like, you're not even ride. <laughs> facts. <laughs> like, that's yeah. big facts. Like, they're not even there for any turbulence mm-hmm. you know what I mean like, like when you're on a plane and the yeah. pilot says there's going to be turbulence yeah, yeah. Like, do you lose faith in the pilot yeah, yeah. you better not yeah and that's the difference I think Absolutely. the most poignant thing I've heard recently in like RP world universe conversations mm-hmm. is essentially when it comes to um, when, when it comes to turbulence mm-hmm. and when it comes to overcoming struggle and strife it's like because women have got all of the tangible things to their fingertips mm-hmm. they don't need to work hard that's mm-hmm. number one but also there's a lack of faith in leadership and anytime their turbulence comes around or is you know it's met mm-hmm. usually they can now just hop skip jump mm-hmm. onto the next opportunity mm-hmm. so as long as those options are there and they're available mm-hmm. then you're going to continue to have this divide mm-hmm. between what we really want mm-hmm. um, but ultimately what I really see is the fact that men are required to do a certain amount of tasks those roles aren't really going to change mm-hmm. in order to attract a female mm-hmm. going to the gym working out being yep. confident making getting your money up mm-hmm. it's not going to change no. for us yeah. but on the other side it seems like it's becoming less and less and less and they're just slow each year they're, or each few months they're just taking away a few little things like oh no I shouldn't have to do that I shouldn't have to do that I shouldn't have to and then it becomes this thing like hold on wait what so no wonder men are making more money and yeah. saying I'm not going to pick any females mm-hmm. if more and more of them are like showcasing this behaviour because yeah. they're just going to say well we're just going to stay at a stalemate then mm-hmm. and you know I'll just have abundance in options but I think what happens is well, it's a lose lose you, you know why this I think this conversation gets like um, it happens so much and it never really goes in the right direction mm. it, or it does go in the right direction but in terms of it never gets a result mm. is because a lot of people talk especially women about their relationship as if they're with a high value man but they're not if you go know what I mean mm. it's like mm. you might get a woman that says like oh yeah I work full time and um, I've been with my partner 20 years mm-hmm. da, da, and we're all cool and I, I do he does this around the house da, da, da. Yeah. but then her man isn't really anything to be desired mm-hmm. you know, he's just average joke yeah he's just a, he's just just a average, average joke regular joke like if you put him yeah. in any environment no one's really fighting over him mm. yeah so you. it probably does work for you mm. that, that, that dynamic, dynamic you can be the masculine in that household yeah because yeah, 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 I see he ain't masculine enough for women to be like oh my god I need me one of them yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. but if you've got a, a man that um, was quote unquote high like went to the gym looked after himself mm. uh, earned in the top 1% mm. um, had a, a a wide range of um, contacts da, 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 da. Yeah. then you put him in any environment mm. and women are going to flock mm. 
so everyone kind of has an opinion but they've never actually been with someone like that more time mm -hmm. yeah, they've never actually been with someone and yeah. when I say been with I mean been in a relationship with just because you dabbled in and he, yeah, he, he, slept, he slept with you mm -hmm. you ain't been with a high value man mm -hmm. a high value man you was one of his options mm -hmm. because he's high value yeah he delved into that option mm -hmm. and then kept it moving yeah yeah and they, they, it's like women are very good at claiming ownership when they want yeah <laughs> you know, that, it, should be, that should be a that's, quote that should, that's be like, quote. should be a good like claiming ownership when they want it you'll talk to a girl and she'll say that this guy was nothing to her absolutely nothing yeah, yeah. there was just friends there was yeah, just yeah. this there was just that okay cool suddenly you question her or you maybe trigger an emotion yeah. about that relationship yeah. suddenly Oh, we was really exclusive for six months, and yeah. you know we did this together, and we spent all this time, and he was my best friend. The, the, they'll yeah. shift the goalposts <laughs> so well in a in one yeah. sentence or one conversation that it finds it's very difficult to follow along. This is the reason why Amber Heard lost so badly in yeah. court. Nothing to do with the whole men women yeah. argument. It's just purely facts. Yeah. If you watch and hear what that woman said in a courtroom. Yeah. regardless of what level you think it's at yeah. it shows right there mm -hmm. and we're not saying all women operate yeah. like this but some of the things that she inhibited the fact of leading uh, trying to lead the courtroom and trying to get them to believe his character was, was a certain yeah. way yeah. and it wasn't um, saying things that didn't match up yeah. so she said one thing and then contradicts herself in another statement mm -hmm. that it just reeks of the deception and the lies that most of the modern females mm -hmm. now operate in yeah. lack of accountability yeah. unwillingness to say hey maybe I'm not a good option and or I mindset. need to look at myself because men have to yeah and they have a victim mindset a and massive it, victim mindset mm -hmm. where they're like oh yeah men are just da -da -da, men are just da -da -da. like all men can't be like that you've got to at some point go like oh mm -hmm. I've slept with 10 guys this year mm. they're, all, they're, all they're all trash they're, they're all, all bad and yeah, they're, all, they're, they're all terrible all, all, then you're bad you make bad decisions yeah. so then you're the worst yeah. one out of all of them because uh -huh. it was your choice in men so your choice in men is actually the problem they control yeah they control sex we control relationships exactly that. and there are certain things that whether it's double standard sexism whatever we want to mm -hmm. label it as there are things that we have a role and a part to play mm -hmm. and I think the people who struggle the most are the ones who try to veer away from that mm -hmm. thinking that we don't have a role we're, mm -hmm. we're, we're jobless we're roleless we don't have mm -hmm. a responsibility yeah. based on who we are I had an interesting conversation yesterday funny enough mm. so me and a well quite a well known UK kind of like YouTuber mm -hmm. we talk about body counts mm. and <laughs> she was trying to convince me that oh, no. women's body counts aren't men's issue and that women should be able to do whatever they want I was like what you need to understand is men become more desired the more they can have so a woman if, if, if he can have any p girl in the room mm. she's like yeah he's the guy mm. whereas if a woman mm. kind of um, makes herself accessible yeah we don't want her because mm. she's accessible. I said, but they conflate those two things. But anything yeah. in life that is rare holds value. So Same way diamonds are exactly. Expensive. So if if, if like, you're yeah. if you're if you're not a a rarity or mm. if anyone if um, anyone can access you, you're not rare. Then you're not valuable to me. Mm. But I'm valuable the more I have technically. Like women don't look at care about guys' numbers. Yeah. They'll be like, oh, that must mean he's this, or oh, he's yeah. good in bed, or yeah. oh, yeah, he is good looking, so I understand. Yeah. Whereas we're not like that. We're not like, oh, yeah, you've been with 50 guys, like, mm. whoa. Yeah. Like, no. <laughs> we're like, oh, damn. Like, it's like we're adversarial, is not it? It goes back to that thing of like, our goals are literally the opposite of what we look for. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to an attractive woman, let's say, who's looking to find and settle on a partner, because of their, they're so they're, they're, they're walking com, like confliction. Yeah. Like they're walking conflicted yeah. because on one side they have a victim mindset when yeah. it comes to how you perceive them if yeah. they choose to be these mm -hmm. negative ways of thinking, and then on the other side they have an abundance mindset yeah. when it comes yeah. to selection and options. Yeah. So that is literally like conflict going on in your head at all times. Yeah. Whereas men tend to be logical. So even if he doesn't like something, mm -hmm. he will go against what he doesn't like yeah. for the greater good. Yes. That's where we separate yeah. as men and women. Yeah. Because they won't do that no. the majority of the time. No. Majority of the time they're like, <coughs> what do you mean? That, that gets back to women are emotionally led and men are purpose led. So if we was a soldier, for example, oh. like a soldier, um, 
doesn't question commands he just or gets the job done yeah, he just gets yeah. the job done like I might not agree with where we're going and who I'm having to shoot yeah. but it's war mm-hmm. I've got a job to do I'm going to see it through mm-hmm. and then I'll ask questions after mm-hmm. maybe Yeah. whereas women are emotionally led so like they'll be asking questions like why are we doing this yeah. Yeah. like that's uh-huh. how women are like you can't get away from the uh-huh. inherent like traits of can't men and women you can't, can't escape it because you might talk like you can escape it but at some point I'm going to catch you up because you're, you're, you're going to show that trait yeah 1, you're, you're going to be like yeah. 35 and single and saying I'm happy mm. you're not happy happily you know single. you're not happy what? you're trying to convince yourself you're happy. <laughs> happily single yeah no, no yeah. one's happy alone yeah no 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 and I think that goes for both sides as well because I think when women see that um, they, they hear men voice that I yeah. think they think men are like yeah we're happy alone and we never want no women no. to be around no 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 I just think that we're trying to point it out to you mm-hmm. that that's not what you would want mm-hmm. especially probably more so than us yeah. we could probably deal more so alone and independently because yeah. we have to yeah. operate that way in yeah. life but it doesn't mean that we don't we're not better together than we are apart yeah. so that is an important factor but yeah like you said man like their body count issue is something that has really stifled modern Ooh. modern media man because yeah. what it is is like I don't care what, what anybody says like it it's natural like you just said about a woman going into a party she would like a guy and you see girls that will fight over their friends and close people near them to get to one person one yeah. guy you will never <laughs> never go yes. to a rave and see two brethren scrapping over a oh, girl yeah. unless they're no like way. not really brethren no way we're, we're, uh, men being men they're probably one would deal with it and then try pass it on <laughs> that's the difference <laughs> Okay. And, and and a lot of the time too, if we and that's for fun, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's that's separate it. that. Fun. But that's yeah. for fun. If we're it's talking fun, about yeah. party times and so yeah, yeah. so that on the other side, let's say if they do that, just go and speak to people around you and ask them if you think that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Forget about what you personally think. Like we know as men, like as we go out into that field and we embark in those relationships or try to find a partner, mm-hmm. we look for those things. Mm-hmm. How much does she seek out attention? Yep. Because the attention she seeks is your attention to you. That's the difference. If yeah. I pick you as a partner, yeah. the attention you seek, I that attention comes on me yeah, too. Yeah, 100%, 100%. You know what I mean? And I think that with men, we want the path of least resistance. Yeah. Once we've found something that's successful, mm-hmm. we'll hone in on it yeah. and work hard for it or for years. Yeah. We'll give 10, 15, 20 years to yeah. a, a career path. Yeah. But once we realize that our respect level is lost in the environment, yeah. so we're not, be doing, we're not really respected or mm-hmm. appreciated, that's where I think that most men nowadays are choosing to say, you know what, maybe I'll hold off a little bit longer. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll focus on my career a little bit longer. And you know think? I'm just thinking, things. when, when like, relationships get to that point of like difficulty mm-hmm. or certain relationships start to kind of go separate ways, but mm-hmm. they're still together, mm-hmm. a man will just kind of focus elsewhere, but it will never leave. Whereas a woman will mm-hmm. use it as an excuse to leave more time. I see what you mean. Do you get what I mean? So like, yeah. a man will be like, Oh, I'm just going to figure out a new hobby. I'm not going to leave my woman. I'm just going to spend more time away from home so we don't woman. argue so much. I'm yeah. going to go do wakeboard. I'm going to start doing golf with the boys. I'm going to play five aside in the, the evenings. Like, but I'm not going to leave her because yeah. that's my woman. Yeah. But a woman will be like, oh, I'm so unhappy. I can't do this anymore. Boom, mm. I'm gone. Yeah. That's what you mean. They look for almost look for excuses look, to, look for, to disqualify. Look, they look for a reason we look to, to qualify. Escape. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Literally. For the most part, like the on average, part, yeah. men will typically be like, "Yeah, you know, she's not a quote unquote ten out of ten, yeah. but she's an amazing cook. Yeah, she's great with kids. Yeah. She's really friendly. Yeah. She's really this. She's really that." So I'll overlook the fact that she's not that. Yeah. But even an average girl who isn't. That, yeah. She'll look at guys and then have an opinion and say, yeah. oh, he ain't all this, he isn't all that, he doesn't do this, he doesn't do that. So that's what I'm saying. We, we, it goes back to what I said earlier on. We, we will focus on the 90% and it will make us stay, whereas a woman will focus mm. on the 10% and it will make her leave. Mm. But, oh, um, we argue a lot. Okay, we argue a lot, but like, mm. look at how many years we put in, look at what we've yeah. created. Da, da, da. Mm-hmm. Man will stay for that, whereas a woman will be like, no and then what they tend to realise is the grass isn't green on the other side they yeah. end up finding a companion not someone who they love they end up finding mm-hmm. someone to spend time with it's not in love up. like that yeah yeah, yeah go yeah. on holidays with the same things that we was doing really yeah but it just yeah, doesn't yeah. have the years behind it mm-hmm. the investment yeah 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 I know I 100% agree bro I mean yeah I think that's kind of where we got into today in terms of just the, the men and females 
like dating scenario you know, when it comes to relationships like, that's why I think <laughs> not to be bad and you might sound a little bit bad but that's why someone like Alex Scott as good looking as she is at 38 years old in your career accomplished yeah. incredible like you can't really freaking say anything but relationships what you actually probably would want from life yes and if you was to ask her with no one really watching and said hey would, would you rather three this, children and be satisfied it shows you at home? that the women that want to be co- solely career driven end up alone yeah the stats say that statistically they do say that yeah. women that uh, be, I think it's believed are above the age of between 40 and 45 yeah. with yeah. Um, making over the equivalent of I think £80,000 yeah. in the UK over $100,000 yeah. in America with single no children yeah. that's statistically the most unhappy person yeah. that exists and it makes complete sense because men are men feel satisfied and feel success from mm-hmm. being rewarded from work mm-hmm. so when we go to work and we feel accomplished from that mm-hmm. and somebody says great job yeah. that means something yeah when yeah. women get that it's like a means to an end but it also goes back to um, the dynamic of the male and female mm. we ain't in a rush we can still have mm. kids at 38 yeah the clock your clock is different yeah yeah you can't ignore the clock I mean, could you imagine if men had a clock we would be handling things immediately yeah yeah, yeah. That's, that's the difference like when they say about how, why should I give away my 20s yeah, yeah, yeah. and wait until I'm, I, yeah. I'd rather wait until my 30s make some money get the yeah. bag yeah. and all that stuff and you're like yeah. if men this is how different men are yeah. we're logical so yeah. if we was in your shoes, yeah. we'd all be married by 21 yeah. to the richest guy we could get and, and, and the one that would treat us us and we respect the best. And, so we and that's live why a good we, life. we, we <laughs> tend to, like, for the most part, not even for the most part, but quite often, date younger women. Yeah. But women won't date an older man. Yeah, yeah, typically. Unless we're talking about a serious amount of money. Yeah. Like if he's got dough, he yeah, still he's looks got good. Dough and he's, and he's got no, a tan. Yeah, he's and not grey. And yeah, that, and he yeah, drives yeah. a Ferrari and he lives abroad, yeah. then they'll take it. Yeah, but if he's in the it. UK, no, 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 no. No, no, no. no, no. no, no. It's, look, it's look and image with them as well, but you can't have everything. And mm-hmm. like with guys, we have certain things that trigger our desire for women, yeah. but there's very, there's a black and white yeah. when it comes to sex that's quite an open playing field yeah. all men have different tastes desires all yeah, that sort yeah, of yeah. stuff but when it comes to relationships it's much more of a smaller finite list mm-hmm. much simpler yeah. but it's also unmoving mm-hmm. unshaking that's the problem it's like yeah, we yeah. won't we won't trade these things yeah. for other things for it it's like no 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 promiscuity yeah. uh, willingness to be nurturing be feminine yeah, yeah. Those things aren't going to change for us. You know what you should do? You should create a list, yeah? Yeah. Of what you think men look for in a woman. Mm. And then post it and see if anyone would add anything to it. Uh, I think people would add to it, but it would be minimal. Okay. So, like, you know, like, we want someone who's... who's (laughs) Yeah, so you could do that. Yeah, okay. For me, I like someone who's cultured, Uh um, who can cook, Uh obviously naturally maternal, Mm -hmm. loyal. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm trying to think what else feminine submissive feminine yeah. submissive mm. but I think if you're feminine you are submissive typically so yeah. those five I things that. I can kind of work with like for the most part like mm-hmm. if you know what I mean like that's it anything yeah. else is a bonus yeah yeah I see whereas that. I think and nothing comes down to yeah. oh she has to um, have boobs this size bum that yeah. size you have those preferences yeah of course but if you find the one quite often you end up with the girl that is not what you thought you were your taste was yeah what, your what taste, it is yeah your type um, if you will but yeah. if you to, was to put that for men I think the list of things that they would add mm. would be very minimal mm. and they would kind of cross over into what we've already put on that list of five yeah. whereas mm. if you put for women mm. and just said what do you want from a man I mm. guarantee you'd get at least mm. uh, 50 <laughs> at least minimum at least 50 probably I might have to do that as an experiment you should just do it just a social experiment yeah just to see. I think I will because yeah, I know for a fact it'd probably be like no more than ten things on the list. Because there's gonna be there's gonna be for, for physical cost. things on there, hundred percent. Yeah. Like oh, um, I don't know if there've been dreadlocks. Yeah. Uh, six one. Yeah. Um, six pack. Yeah. Or, or oh no, I like big arms. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's gonna be a whole list of yeah. things uh-huh. that are kind of so irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. Like what you can do with a six pack. Yeah. It's just nice. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's just nice. Nothing tangible. <laughs> Nothing tangible. Like, yeah. Well, what, what do you do with it? Like, yeah. oh, 
I press them sometimes. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, you know, like it, yeah. it's so irrelevant. It just feels nice. So like, it's yeah. a bonus, but your yeah. girls' bonuses mm-hmm. are um, essentials in their eyes. Yeah, requirements. Do you know what I mean? They're requirements. Like, yeah. so it'd be a bonus if he's in good shape. Mm. No, no, he has to be in good shape. Mm. Like, no, no. It so now you'll disqualify a guy yeah, yeah. who has everything else but that, not that yeah. one thing. Whereas, yeah. like I said, that qualifying and disqualifying, guys will, will be like, okay. We can't quite have yeah. all of that, but yeah. she's got this, this, and this, yeah. which I really like. And it's like you've got to fill the whole quota. You got to get one hundred percent on the test, A plus, mm-hmm. with flying flying colours, yeah. in order to win the attraction or the willingness, or make enough money to mm-hmm. be able to bypass the things that you lack. Exactly. And that's what I think drives a lot of guys crazy when they make the money because they know they're probably lacking in those areas. Mm-hmm. I'm not six foot two. Yeah. If he's five five, but he's a multi millionaire, yeah. he's always going to have the ability. If like, oh, yeah. tall guys come around, I see how you're looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I see you looking. I see you trying to on your side. I like, trying to look yeah. like six two. Now like, he can yeah. have as much money as me, but yeah. you know what I'm saying. And yeah. Like, whereas guys, he may look at a girl. Yeah. Maybe even be a, sexually attracted to the girl, yeah. but she will never replace the wife if yeah. the wife brings that value and that family you've created together mm-hmm. so like overall I definitely think that that's where you know, RP and all of this stuff is really coming into mainstream mm-hmm. media and I personally have been a little bit fearful <laughs> of even talking about it even now like the likelihood of someone being online saying oh look at these guys talking yeah. about this and but the reality is it's these things exist in the world for a reason yeah. and you know I think it's, a, it's important to identify them and have the conversation with people so, so that others out there can see, hey, like key takeaways from this isn't about pointing fingers. No. This is more about exploration and understanding who we are, what makes us different, and then being able to say, all right, cool, let's address these things mm-hmm. so that we can actually find some solutions. But I think that, I think that, I think that's like what I would say is that's a big problem nowadays where um, women take it as finger pointing. But what men actually are, or what I am, regardless of if you've taken offence to what I've said, mm. is I'm pro relationship. Mm. It's a pro union, mm. and I speak and I take accountability for how men are as well. Yeah, because I want the family union to be the normal thing, the cool thing. Yeah. Because nowadays it's not really the normal thing. Yeah, I know what you mean, man. A lot of people will say it's not the cool thing nowadays. Yeah, but. I like the thought of that tribal environment if you yeah. get what I mean uh-huh. and that's how it should be yeah. it shouldn't be me against you it should mm. be I'm for you mm-hmm. and I'm saying these things because I care they come from I'm leading with love I'm coming from a loving place yep. trying to figure out how we can figure this out mm-hmm. and move forward together mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like if as you opposed were, to pointing the finger and saying, saying yeah, yeah whatever I'm not saying you're doing anything wrong I'm saying this is how we view it mm-hmm. you tell me how you view it mm-hmm. But like I said, I don't want a conversation. We're always going to get same back to the same thing, yeah. the core principles. Yeah. Of, this is how we'd like a woman to be. Mm. This is what um, men should do. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah. I mean, it, see this. I think we're stepping into this realm right now, and as as we conclude the combat, I feel like we've been chatting for time. <laughs> just, see, this this is what happens when you talk about things that are real. Yeah. Naturally, time yeah. just flies by like that. And you know, for me personally, I know that this was it takes a lot of courage and bravery for mm-hmm. a lot of men out there in general to even yeah. bri- even voice these opinions now mm-hmm. because cancel culture yeah. um, and I, you know what I think I think the biggest problem is that men aren't able to articulate themselves very clearly mm-hmm. so when they do discuss these points they come across as abrasive yeah. and negative yeah, yeah. because the way they explained it yeah. is just the simple and effective way to explain it mm-hmm. they maybe can't break down the nuance of what they mean yeah and context is important, especially with women. Yeah. So I think the more you're able to articulate and explain what you truly mean mm-hmm. and then be able to give valid examples, yeah. I think that's the best way to approach the conversations mm-hmm. because they're not going anywhere. Yeah. You know, and as you said, I'm very much like yourself, man. I'm more of the an old fashioned soul, mm-hmm. more traditional in terms yeah. of the way I was raised, yeah. family principles, mm-hmm. all those things. So this is almost like me defending what I think is right, yeah. which is men and women working together to mm-hmm. create families and to create healthy right. children. It's, what's, it, it's you defending what served us up until 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Yeah, it's crazy. It's so just, uh, all yeah. of humanity. Well, that's gotten us to this point. But now all of a sudden, 
these modern day women know better than history. Yeah, yeah, and it's just like, no, no, no I'm sorry. And uh, again, the opinions that are out there for a reason, and they, it wouldn't be getting the, the kind of traction that it's getting yeah. online if these things weren't coming from a place of reality. Mm -hmm. So I think it's how you approach it, one. Um, but then ultimately, it's also about the accountability on the side of men too. Yeah. So if you are willing to talk about these things, mm -hmm. you better be living it too. Mm -hmm. So one reason why I know I'm very comfortable to discuss these things is because I've lived a very yeah. clean and pure life. Yeah. I haven't been out there yeah. doing certain things yeah. that people, hey, oh, you, you're saying that, but yeah. I remember you did this, this, yeah. and the third. No, like, as I said earlier, I'm pretty, pretty much committed to a professional lifestyle mm -hmm. from the age of six years old, yeah. trying to become a professional footballer. Mm -hmm. That didn't work. All right, cool, I'm going to go to uni, mm -hmm. get myself a degree, yeah. put the hard work in yeah. seven years after uni, mm -hmm. grind, 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 yeah. grind. And when you are in there in that position, I think that you have more authority mm -hmm. to come and speak about things yeah. that you've you've been disciplined enough to mm -hmm. see through. So, yeah. take, as I said, it takes a lot of courage, a lot of bravery to even bring these points up. I know I'm probably going to upset, and we've probably upset quite a few people in this conversation. But unfortunately, you know, this is what it meant, being men is about at the same yeah, time think, too. Think, like if it if, some, if this wakes up certain people, I think if it upsets respect, you, then it's because you realise there's some truth to it. Yeah. It's not because we said something wrong. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I, I, I had a conversation with someone yesterday and I said, you can't say nothing about me mm. and it offend me because I probably agree with you. Mm. I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you, you get me? Yeah, I've, I 100% so, agree. But like if you said, oh, Josh, you're so stubborn and you've always got an answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're right. Mm. I'm trying to work it, but you are right. Yeah. So you, I can't be offended that you've said something that isn't a positive yeah, because yeah. I know it. Everyone knows the the answers in their deepest gut. We all know right from wrong. We all know the answers or what we want. Yeah. But if you get triggered by it, it means some part of you actually aligns with it. Facts. And bro, I mean, the weirdest thing I can say to add some clarity to that is when I first started watching a lot of the RP content, naturally I was kind of like, hmm? mm. what? Is it what? And then now, obviously, that I've kind of taken a bit more accountability on my side, I had to kind of sit back and say, hold on. No, actually, yeah. The reason why some of those things triggered me is because I haven't been doing things I need <laughs> to do. I haven't been in the gym. Yeah. I haven't been... Okay, oh, that's why. Yeah. But see, that's the difference. Yeah. I was able to look at that mm -hmm. and see it for what it actually is. But then, you know, I don't look at this as an opportunity to point fingers at females and get a leg up that's useless because yeah. that's not getting us where we need to actually yeah. go you know it should be the opposite I think that's what kind of what the last six months I probably had the most growth that I've had mm. in my life mm. and it's because I'm constantly pointing the finger at myself mm. whether it's to do with my daughters yeah. my son yeah. um, how I speak to my partner yeah. uh, um, how I speak to other people mm. all of these things because I'm constantly pointing the finger at myself mm. constantly instead of going like oh they're bad at that today. I'm like what can I take from that mm -hmm. and how can I direct it at myself and be like you need to spend more time with like my middle daughter so I've got my son and I've got my youngest daughter and I've got my middle one yeah. I never thought middle, middle child syndrome was a thing mm -hmm. like I just thought people just say it mm -hmm. but I started to realise this and I needed to understand that I needed to give her more attention because mm -hmm. obviously you've got the baby then you've got the oldest, oldest the, the, the and first like, child and the, oh, and exactly, the youngest so like, then I yeah. so now I give her the attention but not how I want to give her attention I see yeah, so like yeah, yeah, yeah. she wants to do this these like gymnastics moves that she sees on YouTube mm -hmm. and like I don't mind her watching those things on YouTube because they're beneficial for her yeah. so then I'm like it's not enough for me to sit with her mm -hmm. and watch it. Mm -hmm. she, like, because it's easy for me to sit and be like, I'll just watch it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, let's go into the garden, do some cartwheels, or let's go to trampoline. Yeah. I'm giving her one-to-one -one attention mm -hmm. and it's changing our relationship because instead of her, it being met with animosity, mm -hmm. when I'm like, oh, can you, before you have breakfast, can you go brush your teeth, wash your face, da 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 da, -da. And she's like, oh, I want breakfast first. Mm -hmm. It's like, yes, daddy, da 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 because our relationship's building, because I'm mm -hmm. pointing the finger at myself. Yeah. It's not, my relationship with my daughter is no different to my relationship with a partner. Yeah. It's a male and female dynamic. Mm -hmm. And I'm constantly going, what am I doing wrong? What can I do better? What am I doing wrong? What can I do better? Yeah, yeah. And then she's on the receiving end of how I'm changing, yeah. and then it's being reciprocated. Yeah, yeah, naturally. 
So when you start to point the finger only at yourself and take accountability, like you said earlier on the phone, everything is people not wanting to take accountability. Once everyone starts taking accountability, mm-hmm. then everything will change. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's powerful, bro. I mean, yeah, I feel like we've been uh, we've been, been touching on some really good talking points, man. Some uh, some stuff that actually is out there. No, this is something that is a little bit more of a something I've been wanting to discuss mm-hmm. for a little while. But as I said before, it takes that courage, that bravery to yeah. even feel confident enough to discuss mm-hmm. it and you know people are ne- you're never going to please anyone no. and this one thing I've no. gotten to in terms of realising is that I've become a little bit more selfish in a positive way mm-hmm. if that makes sense and so when I was younger there was a lot more of I would probably give up the um, the ability for me to take a win mm-hmm. if it meant being doing the right thing mm-hmm. and sometimes you get to a point in life where you realise you got to get something for yourself first mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it may sound selfish, it may sound whatever it is, but the world is a cold place naturally. 100%. And if you don't develop a little bit of a, of a tougher sort of demeanour about going after what you want, it's going to swallow you alive, it's going to eat you alive. So that's why I think avoiding certain talking points is never really going to be beneficial because mm-hmm. it will come out at some point, whether it's in a relationship down the line, yeah. whether it's whatever. So I think openness of where you stand on certain Mm -hmm. points, come into the table, do research. I mean, I've been watching RP content now for the last like year, year and a half. So it's not like I'm speaking from thin air. (laughs) No, I've been I've been doing my homework and research, but more and more and more, I've gotten to the point of realizing that um, there is a massive divide between us, Mm -hmm. especially in our age group. As I said, that twenty-five to thirty-five age range, it's like very very strong Mm -hmm. in. the expectations Mm -hmm. and what you should be as a man and people telling you what you should be as a man Mm -hmm. Um, and I think it's just got so skewed that we can't really see clearly anymore Mm -hmm. you know so yeah and I really appreciate you coming on man and like I said I want to probably as I said these conversations are going to lead and lead more into repeats so you're probably likely to see Joffrey again soon because I want to have like a core cluster of of guys Mm -hmm. like family you know that come on and um, we just touch, we get onto these talking points. Mm-hmm. Um, and obviously, next time, we'll probably get a chance to talk about like your meeting up with Pearl and, yeah. and Sarah, and um, probably to get into some more talking points to do with like mm-hmm. these these conversations, which I think are important for young mm-hmm. people to hear that um, you know we're not veering away from it, mm-hmm. but we do it. You, you can handle it in a respectful manner. I think it, the interesting thing is it's important for the people watching, but. The only reason we're having this conversation is because we felt like it was necessary for us. Yeah. I would have come if I didn't feel like it was necessary for me to, one, get stuff from my chest and two, hear someone else's dynamic mm. and vice versa. So this is more so for us than anyone else. Yeah, they're just true. viewing, they're vicariously they're viewing, viewing our kind of uh, venting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're not, we, didn't, yeah. we didn't make up this conversation mm. because it's a hot topic. It's actually yeah. relevant in our life. 100%. And we're just venting kind of what we're either going through or what we're going to go through mm-hmm. because we want to have a better understanding when it presents itself. So. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. No, so true, so true. And I think, yeah, more of this in general, isn't it? Like, it, just, it, it we, we need to have the, the tougher conversations. The conversations that may be a little bit more triggering, a little bit more um, delving into the things that touch on emotions and things like that. But as I said, as men, um, when you're out in the world and you're asked and you're required to actually provide mm-hmm. then I think you also should have the authority and the ability to speak on things that directly affect mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. your life and where, where you want to go with it you know um, but yeah man yeah, it's been lit bro <laughs> it's been lit oh. um, yeah definitely want to get back and talk about uh, link up with Sarah and Pearl and that yeah. just how that kind of all came about yeah. we'll do that on the next, on the next one 100% um, no. but yeah beautiful people I hope that you've uh, you've been enjoying this little breakdown and uh, yeah, no cancel culture coming from man. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, it's all good. Um, But yeah, no, I think it's even more important, and the reason why I specifically, just as a final point, you know, I've had an overwhelming Mm -hmm. side coming from the female perspective, and a lot of black men will kind of echo this of like hearing the opinions of black women more than they hear the opinions of black men mm-hmm. so I think this is why the platforms like this I would never feel unconfident to talk yeah. about something that you know affects us as a people and men in general as well so that we can kind of just 
start to move forward man like you said it's about growth ultimately this isn't about creating a debate platform where we just go back and forth with each other i think this is about finding some solutions so you know we can find better options in the future man so yeah my brother it's always love bro yeah um the wonderful and brilliant josh parker my guy um look forward to seeing him on the pod very soon um who knows when so keep your eyes peeled <laughs> you never know um but yeah if you did like this like share subscribe and um stay tuned because we're gonna be getting into as i said it's gonna be spicing up in the second half of the season i told people yeah. they, they thought i was joking so <laughs> here we are um but yeah people whoever you're listening to this message i hope you're having a positive day and um yeah as i said like share subscribe to the content um drop in every week and yeah man much more much more content to come so without further ado we'll see you guys on the next episode peace and love <laughs>